All right, welcome to long division. I know we did this back in second and third grade, and at some point our teacher may have put the calculator in our hands so that way we didn't have to worry about how to multiply and subtract. But the purpose of showing you this numerically first is so that I can soon explain how to do it with polynomials, which is what you'll use today. Taking us back in time, and we have a little Mozart playing in the background, our goal is to divide two into 226. You were taught to put the 226 under the house or inside or however you call this quotient bar. The key is, I had to ask myself, how many times does two divide into two? One time. So what do I do with that one? I put it right here. Now, with long division, your goal is to multiply this one with this two and then write it right here and subtract. And then whatever that is, in this case zero, and then you were taught to bring down this two and repeat that process. How many times does two go into two? You said one time. And what do I do? I multiply the one with the two, write it right here, and then subtract. And what do I get? Zero. And then again, keep bringing down the numbers one at a time and then ask yourself how many times does two go into six? Three times. And then you multiply three times two and subtract that and voila, no remainder. What happens if there is a remainder? Example B, again, 134 goes inside the house. Why? Because it's listed first, not because it's bigger. Secondly, now what do I do? I need to ask myself, does three go into one? No. So then does three go into 13? How many times? So what do I do with that four? I put it up top and then my goal is to multiply four times three and write 12 and then I subtract. If I have anything left over and then I bring down the four and then ask myself, what is three? How many times does three go into 14? Goes in there again, four times. Four times three is 12. I need to subtract the 12 and I'm left with the remainder of two. Now, some teachers may have taught you to put the R2 here. Okay, that's no Star Wars reference. Here, I'm gonna tell you to put 44 and then with the two as a numerator and three as your divisor which represents the remainder, two out of three. And that, my friends, is just a quick review on how to use numerical long division.